Hey guys, it's me, Fistlab. Guess what we're doing? That's right, we're doing another, uh, a shorter playthrough before I have to go to bed of, uh, Prisoner of Ice. The Call of Cthulhu side story, you could say. But, if in you remember right, we just finished in the uh, Edwards base after finding out all sorts of fun stuff like someone was a monster oh no and we had a traitor amongst our midst who was working with the Nazis Nazis! so we took off to Buenos Aires because that's where all the documentation led us to oh lord the screensaver kicked in Alright, so let's get this started. Hernandez. Can I help you, senor? Can I help you, senor? Why is this pedestal empty? A stone disc of great value was exhibited on top of it, but uh, unfortunately it was stolen from us yesterday. I'd like to look up a work filed with you under reference OTR 2832. Un momento, senor. Your name, please? Ryan. Are you Ryan? R-Y-A-N. Oh! Okay. Exaggerate the fuck out of that man. Someone would like to look at the work files under reference OTR 2832. See, a Mr. Ryan. R-Y-A-N. Senorita Parker is also. Very well, I will send them in. Mrs. Parker's walk bothers the hell out of me. He is studying a number of chapters from the book you are interested in. He invites you to join him in his office. Excuse me. Are you also waiting to see the curator? Yes, I have an appointment with him. My father used to work here, but he's disappeared. And an exhibit from the collection has been stolen. I'm worried. I am worried. Are you Professor Parker's daughter? Yes, Diane. Diane Parker. My name is Ryan. I'm here to find your father, Diane. Has something happened to him? I hope not, but I may need your help. You can rely on me, Ryan. The receptionist just told me that the curator is waiting to see us. Here we are just dilly-dallying, talking in this hall. Oh, jeez. That I am coming. Okay, Jittery Joe. Diane? Jorge, do you have any news of my father? Unfortunately not, but plainclothes policemen have been watching the library all morning. Why do you wish to look up reference OTR 2832? OTR 2832 is a password, right? Right. I am prepared to answer all your questions, Mr. Ryan. OTR... Right. What is OTR 2832 all about? Well, it is a very ancient word. Unfortunately, there is only one copy left in the world. The one Miguel is holding. What had Professor Parker been working on? He had been focusing all his efforts on studying the solar disk that was stolen from his yesterday. We suspect him of having committed the theft, but personally, I strongly doubt it. I have known Mr. Parker for a long time. The disc was at his disposal. I rather think he has hidden it somewhere, for a reason I do not yet know. Miguel, resume your reading. Maybe it will enlighten Mr. Ryan. Okay. <laughs> a long time ago, under the reign of Zieglichny, the Armadas lived in peace at Tehuanaco. Until the day the fair-haired man appeared. He wore a metal mask and controlled the fire of the gods, the solar disk. 
he overthrew the king of the Aymaras and became the god of gods, Nirlatotepec, the rampant chaos. With the power of the solar disk, Nirlatotepec taught the Aymaras to go back through time. Back to the reign of the great old ones, well before the birth of man. The power of the great old ones was matched only by their cruelty. As their slaves revolted, the great old ones were outraged beyond all measure and entrapped the slaves as prisoners within the eternal ice of the South Pole. Mirla Totepec told the Aymaras that he who freed the prisoners of ice would become possessed by the spirit of their masters and be able to recall the great old ones to earth beyond the boundaries of time. However, they would have to await a favorable astral conjunction and utter the accursed incantation on a magical site. Thus, what had previously been would return yet again. So, no matter what, this will always continue happening. Huh. Hiya! Give me this letter. Schnell! Yeah. Unfortunately, dear sir, it was stolen from us yesterday. Adapt! No fun business. See disc. Senor, this office is not open to the public. <laughs> huh? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Where is the solar disc? I am not in the mood for jokes here, doctor. As you can see. I see nothing, dear sir. I am blind. Deal with it. <laughs> there are strange demons for even death. They die. What's going on here? The police will soon be here, Mr. Ryan. They mustn't find you here. Take this page from OTR 2832. It will be useful to you. Hide here, both of you. Stop. Hurry! He's finished. Ah, oh, the bullet shot in the wrist. Help right on sleep. It went through the heart. The heart is on the left, see? Whatever. Then. Let's go in. Where are the man and the woman who came in here a minute ago? Dios mío. Come with us. No entry. Well, Diane, it seems that we're stuck in here. Oh, we're really in a mess now. The library is surely being watched by the police. I'm going up to the terrace. Maybe I can find some trace of my father there. Uh, Diane, wait! Diane, wait! Why do you walk like that? Quit... Oh, God. Stop. with a sense of purpose, please. Thank you. Diane, oh, I thought you were already on the terrace. Well, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. First, we need to find a way to reach the three ledges in this room. Can't you just grab a foothold and climb up? Yeah, stick. Pile of books. My father often came to work here. How can we reach the terrace? My father told me that certain mechanisms provided access to it. What sort of mechanisms? I don't know. I merely overheard my father one day mention their existence to Jorge the Curator. Okay. 
gotta look for something out of place. There's a drug. Yeah, a drought, drought, draft. Is that draft? There's a drought blowing between these books. And a poke. I suppose. Away. Oh, fine! There's not so many of them. Oh, 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 a book. Well done, the panel swivels to the left! Diane, I found a secret passage! Follow me! Oh boy, pixel hunting guys. Uh, I kind of like the artwork here, it's kind of neat. A little lazy, but kind of neat. Right, let's climb up this ladder. Impossible to climb up, one of the rungs is broken. Seriously? Let me guess. Have you known the curator for some time? Since I first arrived in Buenos Aires three years ago. You've never been up on the terrace? No, unfortunately. Why is access to the terrace so complicated? Probably to protect certain works from vandals. Have you known the cure? Since I why is it uh, I'm on the ladder, Ryan. Shakespeare, Goth, Sophie, Sophocles. So let's put Shakespeare. Or Goth, Shakespeare, Sophocles. Missing something, I don't know what. Goes down first. Goes sofa. Shaky. Shaky. Sofa. Sofa. Shaky. Go. There we go. Come on, Diane. You know, 
this last part has the most ridiculous way to freaking just finish it. See this switch? I've got no idea what it does. Forgive me, Diane, but it, it seems to me that... Diane, let's stop wasting time. There's a stairway. You're both a couple of not... Some of my assholes. Now this part's fun. Not wasting your time because you have to find out one of the statues. There we go. Well, let's talk about up on the No. And she doesn't tell us Jack. Of course, it's bound to be abused. We gotta open the terrace. The door's open. Come on, Diane. Come on, Diane. You may be able to find your father's trail. You may be able to find your father's trail. Strange. I once saw snapshots of these three statues on my father's desk. Discobulus, Jupiter, and Venus. Diane, take a look at this. There's something strange about this statue. Other than the fact that this doesn't look like it belongs. We need to take a closer look. <sighs> well, time to go crazy. Hey there, Venus. How are you? Uh, what the f <laughs> Alright. Chum! Be careful, Ryan. Don't tell me what to do. It's not the uh, original disc. Could this be the one your father is suspected of stealing? Throw it to me. Okay. Just be sure to catch it. Ryan! What? Wunderbar! <laughs> Congratulations on all your animal my I knew you were an ordinary tourist. And I had you followed since your arrival in the web cells. Unfortunately, my assistant Holly was not sufficiently conscious. Now, if you would be kind not to hand over the solar disk to my operator. Schloss Adler Base, 17th of January, 1937. Scratch cell wall. Must talk. Import. Okay. Alright, this part... is a pain in the ass because you need to do it right. I'm bound to mess up and you guys are bound to watch me get killed. Alright, so what just happened is uh, we went to Buenos Aires to see what was going on with Professor Parker. Uh, we met his daughter Diane to talk to the curator to see if we can come up with anything based on the OTR 2832 based off what uh whatever the hell that guy was looking for so we go investigate and we're like huh so this solar disk got stolen huh or did it we don't know because the curator was blind or telling people to deal with it I don't know so uh, we have this great idea since we couldn't really do much else to go up to the terrace of the museum because hey you know there may be some sign of uh, Diane's father yeah, that's a fairly reasonable guess. So we figure out some puzzles, we go up, and we're just like, okay. Huh. That that disc does not that disc does not belong there. Alright. So I will go climb up some statues, grab the disc, and turns out we've been being followed the whole time we got to Buenos Aires. So here we are at Schloss Adler Base the top secret one that we escaped from in the beginning of the game the one we rescue, rescued Bjorn Hamsun from alright next episode we need to get the hell out of here cause this this shit's getting bananas 
Alright guys, this is Fist Lab, signing out. Later beautiful people.